Look at all that glare on my guitar. It's like a glare factory over here. All the people are strange, wouldn't you agree? The Doors agree. Jim Morrison, that's a member of The Doors. Also other people. My name is Stuart. Welcome to Guitar Lessons with Stuart. Let's learn this song. As the Halloween season approaches, let's play this song that is sometimes considered a spooky Halloween-esque song. You might be watching this in the summer of 2023, in which case that has nothing to do with Halloween. Let's learn the song. The intro starts off, pointer finger on the second fret of the A string. Turn the tuner off there. Pointer finger on the second fret of the A string. A string open, third fret on the low E string. And then the E string open. That's the introduction right there. We go bang, bang. Easy. Should we learn more of the song? Let's do it. E minor chord. I'm not going to explain the E minor. Okay, I'll explain it. Middle finger on the second fret of the A string, ring finger on the second fret of the D string. You just played the low E string, then go to the A string, then go to the E of the uh, D string, then finally play the open G string. Like that. So we've got, it's got that little swing shuffle beat. We go, bonka ding bow. Bonka ding bow. Okay, got it? Then something else happens. You're going to very quickly play the D string, keep the E minor chord, like that. Then on the A string, play two, one, zero. I think, I think that's what happens. That's, ex that's exactly what happens. I would like us to play it. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, one. And after I say one, we're gonna play it from the beginning, deal? One, two, three, four, one. That's what we've got so far. We've got this, uh, it, it's like an A minor, but we're not actually gonna have a minor third in there. So it's like an A sus two, but who cares? It's like an A chord of some kind. You know the E minor that we just played? Take that same chord, but move it just one string up like that. So now we're on the second fret of the middle two strings. You're gonna play this. Start with the A string, you just play A string, D string, G string, just like that. Then get your fingers off of there and play the open G string. So that was ending it with that open G string. Then we're gonna go back to the E minor chord. You're gonna play just the D string really quickly like we did before and then do that same Two one zero on the A string. Watch this. Bing bang bing E minor chord. Two one zero. Open G. Two one zero. Okay. Then we go back to the A chord, but you're only gonna play the first three notes. You just play. You're not gonna play the open G yet. We're gonna play it later, but for right now we're just going A string, D string, G string. Then go to the E minor chord and just give the E minor chord a casual little flick, just a little. So it's, see that? Just a nice little gentle E minor, really, but it comes quickly. It's bonka ba E minor. Then we play that open G. Remember I told you we were gonna play that open G. And then, uh, oh, and then this is my favorite part. Right after the open G, you're gonna play the open A string and then hammer onto the first fret, hammer onto the second fret. Oh, you hear that? It's fast. Buddha ba, Buddha ba. So now from the beginning, I know you're sick of me playing it from the beginning, but I, I like to make you sick. So much fun. Right after that little double hammer on. Middle finger on the second fret of the E string. Ring finger on the second fret of the A string. Pointer finger on the first fret of the D string. The third string from the top. This right here. This is like a, a funny little B chord. This is the funniest little B chord I've ever seen in my life. I never play B like this, but I am today. 
You're just gonna play E string, A string, D string. Bong ba And then there's another note. Does it go to the open E? It does, it goes to the open E. So we go ba ba So that was So that was And then we play the three notes that we did at the very beginning, the two, zero, three, but we're gonna play them faster with that shuffle swing rhythm. So we go two, zero, three, uh, and then we start over. Look. This is the fourth video that I'm recording today. And I'm just done. I'm done doing it. But we have to learn another two parts. Ow. After the intro, we're going to go to, I don't know, I guess it's the verse. What's the verse and what's the chorus of this song? The Doors wrote this song. B bar chord. What do you know about a B bar chord? You could do a B bar chord over here, but that's not how we're gonna do it. Seventh fret on the E string. Ring finger on the ninth fret. Pinky on the ninth fret. Middle finger on the eighth fret of the G string. And then your, your pointer finger is gonna smash down on all six strings on the seventh fret. A B bar chord. It takes the strength and power of a thousand ancient worlds to play this chord. You're gonna do this. You're gonna play just a, this, this is what I do. This is my style. I think in the, in the actual song, I think the guitar just goes. But what I would like to do, because I don't have right now at my disposal, a drummer, an organist, a bass player, uh, uh, other things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna have the whole bar chord. I'm gonna play the E string. I like to give it a little palm mute. That's where I just take this part of my palm and I just touch the string ever so slightly. Gives that little, the little bassy, boomy sound. But you can just play it normal, I don't care. I've already spent way too much time talking about that. I play that and then I do a quick little strum down on just the highest, like two or three strings of the guitar. But I try to keep it really short. I go like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm strumming it pretty hard, just aiming for those bottom two strings. If I hit the third one, that's great. But if I'm aiming for the bottom two, and then as soon as I strum it, I just loosen my grip. And that just cuts this chord off right away. I go, I was terrible because I was holding the guitar weird. Huh. Huh. So I'm just like, huh. Huh. it's like the strings are hot, they're too hot. I'm going like this, I'm going one, two, rest, and. So, bing, ha, ha. That was the B bar chord right there on the seventh fret. Then I go to the G bar chord, which is the same exact shape, but my pointer finger's on the third fret. I'm trying to rush through this because I'm, because I have some pasta with eggplant and I want to eat it. I looked over there, but it's actually over there. It's orzo with feta cheese, roasted eggplant, and bell peppers. Look, I'm just going to show it to you. It's in a seriously spooky bowl. Here it is. Should I eat on the video? Well, I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. As Ross Perot said, who said that? Not gonna. How about we don't learn the song and we just hang out? You wanna just hang out for a little while? Viewer retention just went done. No one's just you and me, me. I'm just gonna, I can just look at myself in the monitor here. Why are we doing this? I'm talking about the video, I'm talking about the song, I'm just talking about life, the whole thing. For those of you in school, why are you going to school? Doesn't it, isn't it a bummer? It bums you out, doesn't it? And I know you should be grateful that you have the privilege of being able to go to school, but it just kind of sucks. I'm not even in school and I'm still like resentful about like you having to go to school, but I, we just established I'm the only one here. No one else is watching the video anymore. Oh, I started taking cold showers for some reason. I don't, I couldn't tell you what the reason is. I just, apparently there are health benefits. I think it's just that it's miserable and miserable things are good for you, right? Like roasted eggplant and bell peppers. I said, I, I talked about that food like I was looking forward to the eggplant and bell peppers. Guys, eggplant and bell peppers are, 
Eggplant Parmesan is good because you put a bunch of cheese on it. But just roasted eggplant? Who cares? All right. So the G major chord, right there. And we're doing the exact same thing we did on the B major chord, but now we're down on the third fret. That's, that's all you need, right? But this is all leading up to the coolest note in the whole song. So we go B, down to the G, back up to the B. But watch this, we're just gonna go bass note, and then you play the 10th fret on the B string. So 10th fret on the B string, you're gonna play it, but as soon as you play it, just give it a little bend. Give it a little bend, it's a little spooky little bend. And then you just mute it over here. So I go, this is so cool, look. Wait, okay, wait, this whole part goes like this. So much fun. So let, like we go B, G, B, bend, B, G again, then B, and then the bend. I missed it. I don't even care. It does that a couple times or whatever. Listen to the song. You can figure it out. <laughs> I want to show you just the regular chords. Let's say you just wanted to strum the song by the campfire. Then you hear the chords. You go E minor chord, and then A minor, E minor, A minor, E minor, B7, E minor. E minor, we've already, we've already discussed. The A minor is just gonna be open A string, then second fret, second fret, first fret. There's the A minor. We quickly go A minor, E minor. Then we do that again, A minor, E minor. Then I went to B7 of the basic open cowboy chords. This was the last one I ever learned. It's not the easiest chord. Middle finger on the second fret of the A string, pointer finger on the first fret of the D string, ring finger on the second fret of the G string, skip the B string, pinky on the second fret of the high E string. B7, oh, what a great chord. I sometimes call it the Johnny Cash chord. I have I have nicknamed it the Johnny Cash chord because he, you would use it sometimes. So that's something that I do. And then we go back to E minor. E, <clears throat> e minor, A. E minor chord, A minor, E minor. A minor, E minor, B7. I don't think the guitar ever actually plays that in the recording, but sometimes I do that when I'm singing along. Finally, we end the song with a big old B7 chord. We just talked about it, the Johnny Cash chord. Connie Jash. What else is in the news? Um, you guys hear about these NFTs? 